All right, boys and girls, hello, happy Wednesday. We are in Wednesday's homework. So Wednesday, you are to reread and answer questions one through three. Reread and answer questions one through three. So let's go ahead and read this, and then you will have a couple of different things to do today, questions and um, also math, okay? So let's go ahead and read this again. As we have been, it's called a Dinosaur Mystery. The team of 14 paleontologists met in Buenos Aires, Argentina. They drove 14 hours to the dig site in the rugged land of Patagonia. A dig site is a place where scientists dig for treasure. After they set up camp, the scientists quickly began to look for fossils. They hoped to find evidence that dinosaurs had lived in the area, but on the first day they found nothing. Day two was a day that paleontologists dream of but rarely experience. A team member spotted something lying on the ground. Could it be a dinosaur egg? The scientists were absolutely thrilled. They actually found hundreds of grapefruit-sized dinosaur eggs that had turned to stone. Now the scientists had two mysteries to solve. Why were so many eggs in one place and what kind of dinosaurs had laid them? The first mystery was fairly easy to solve. Gathering in big groups to lay eggs and protect their babies helped the dinosaurs survive. The scientists knew they had found the nesting site of hundreds of dinosaurs, which covered acres of land. Why had the eggs not hatched? Perhaps the river nearby flooded and buried the eggs in mud. The eggs stayed under the mud for millions of years. If a skeleton of a baby dinosaur had been preserved in an egg, the scientists could solve the, the second big mystery. A scientist called a perforator spent a scientist called a perforator spent weeks chipping away the rock around each tiny bone and each tiny egg. She found a tiny skull and some teeny tiny teeth, which she compared to the skull and teeth of adult dinosaurs. The dinosaurs' parents were huge plant eating titani, titan titanosaurus. Okay, so you're going to reread and answer questions one through three. So here's one, here's two, here is three. Okay, question says, what is one of the questions that scientists had about the eggs they discovered? A, why were there so many, why were there so few eggs? B, why were the eggs so small? C, exactly how old were the eggs? Or D, what kind of dinosaur had laid the eggs? Number two, what is the treasure scientists are looking for at the dig site? Plants, F, G, bird eggs, H, rare stones, L, dinosaur, eight, I'm sorry, I, dinosaur fossils. And number three, if paleo means old, then what is the meaning of paleontologists as used below? The team of 14 paleontologists met in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Okay, and if you don't know, boys and girls, please make sure that you look up this, um, this word or you can use your context clues. Okay, so the team of 14 paleontologists met in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Paleontologists, very old people. Old dinosaur eggs, people who study old fossils, or D, people who study old language. Paleontologists. Think about it. What is this story mainly about? Okay, we're going to move on to, again, some more word problems. Yes, I know you guys are enjoying them. Okay, it says answer the following word problems. Okay, so here we are. We're going to read the sentence. Uh, the word problem. There are eight bunches of bananas. Each bunch has eight bananas. How many bananas are there in all? Okay. So if you need to draw a picture, draw a picture. There's nothing wrong with drawing a picture. So there are eight bunches of bananas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Each bunch has eight. Eight. Eight, 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 and eight. Okay, 
How many bananas are there in all? So you could say, oh, okay, let me do it. Eight times, because I, I, I don't want to add eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. I, want, I, can, I can do a faster way and I can multiply. So you want to say eight times, there was eight, but eight bunches and eight bananas. So eight times eight equals 64. And don't forget to label your word problem. 64 bananas. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and read the next one. A gardener has planted 10 trees in a row. If there are five rows, how many trees are there in, how many trees are there in all together? It should say all together. Okay, next problem. There are 20 swings in the park. On each swing, there are two children. Find the total number of children. Next one, Sam eats two meals on a, on a day. How many meals does he eat in two weeks? Okay, this problem, remember, there are seven days in a week. In one week, there are seven days. Okay, this is asking you how many meals does he eat in two weeks. So if he eats two meals a day, okay, there's seven days in a week. Okay, so if he eats two meals a day, how many meals does he eat in two weeks? Uh, next one. There are six baskets. Each basket has eight pairs. How many pairs are there all together? Kind of like the, the very first one that we did. Uh, and the last one. There are three triangles, four stars, eight pentagons, and three diamonds. How many vertices are there all together? Vertices. Ooh, okay. In case you wanted to know, vertices equals corners. Okay, that's what vertices mean. Okay, so if there are three triangles, four stars, eight pentagons, and three diamonds, how many vertices are there all together? Vertices means corners. There is a picture here for you, so I would start it by one two, three. Okay, there's three there. Okay, and count each of the corners. Okay, and then you'll get your answer. And that's it. That's it for Wednesday's homework.